Ritu, do you revise the SD class once preparations we had seen or some different preparations we had seen? No, sir. I didn't have the time to realize I had chemistry pre-final students. So I just was busy in that. Okay. So because of once you revise means that is better ma, after completing of the class. You will get some idea because of the keep on teaching. Okay. Again, by the next step, freshly, if I'm going to be start means it won't look good for me and you also. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm telling that. So after completing of the class, uh, before class, once you go through that one, hardly five minutes, all are the reactions only, na? exception cases are there. Some Just you revise that. If you see means you'll get some idea. Okay. Yeah, sure. But I'll go through it today. So next, so here, what is another important preparation we are having means here? So preparation of alcohols from carbonyl compounds. So carbonyl compounds are if it undergoes the reduction reaction means it is converted into the respective alcohol. If the aldehydes are converted into aldehydes are it undergoes the reduction reaction means how it is going to be converted ma? If aldehydes are Thunder goes to the reduction reaction. How the aldehydes are converted when it undergoes the reduction reaction? The primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol, none of this. Uh, primary. Primary. If the ketones are it undergoes the reduction reaction, is what are the products it is forming, ma? Ketones are Tender goes to the reduction reaction. What are the products it is going to be formed? Secondary alcohols, sir. Secondary alcohols. Okay. And so which of the following reagent it does not reduce the esters into alcohol? Which of the following is not uh, sodium borohydrate? Sodium borohydrate does not reduce the ester into alcohol. Okay. But which reducing agent it converts the esters into alcohol? Ma? Uh, L I A L 4, sir. Lithium, I don't know. Lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminium hydride. Lithium aluminum hydride converts the carboxylic acid and esters into respect to alcohol. Okay. Alcohol. Esters and carboxylic acids are they give as a primary alcohols. They won't give as a secondary alcohols and tertiary alcohols. Esters and carboxylic acids are they give only primary alcohols. I got the clarity. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. So now so we have another method. So what is another method we can use means here? So, by using the Grignard reagent, from the Grignard reagent also we can prepare as an alcohol. Sir, how we can prepare from the Grignard reagent means here. So, when the carbonyl compounds are reacts with Grignard reagent, okay, from Grignard reagent. From Grignard reagent. Okay, from Grignard reagent. So, what is the Grignard reagent, Ritu? Find that. What is the Grignard reagent? Sir, is it like an organomagnesium compounds? Yeah, ma, arga, organometallic compound. So, what is the organometallic compound mean that we can represent as RMGX? RMGX. RMGX is called as a Grignard reagent. In this one, either R is equal to either alkyl group or aryl group. Okay, R is nothing but either it is an alkyl group or aryl group. Okay, now in this one, so either alkyl group or aryl group. Now let us see how you are going to prepare as a Alcohols from the Grignard by using the Grignard reagent means first I am taking as a formaldehyde. What is the molecular formula of the formaldehyde? HCHO. HCHO. So can I write this one 
H bond C double bond O H also I can write now. Okay, so can no. I write like this or not? No? Yes. Okay, so I can write here H bond C double bond O H also we can write this here. Okay, now this one. No one such a man. In this one plus R M G X. R M G X. R M G X is nothing but the all reagent. In this one, magnesium you will get as a positive charge or negative charge. Man. Metals. Positive. Metals always we get as a positive charge. That time R group you will get as a negative charge. Negative. No. At the same time, in C double bond go. When this pi electrons are shifted on the oxygen atom, oxygen get as a negative charge and carbon get as a positive charge. In this one, the positively charged carbon is attaches with the alkyl group. Okay. And negatively charged oxygen is attaches with the magnesium. Negatively charged ion is attaches with the magnesium. Then how we can write as here? R bond, CH2 bond, O bond, MgX. Okay, to make you clarity, I don't want to disturb the structure. If you won't get doubt my here, oxygen is attaches with the magnesium halide. This uh, carbon is attaches with the R and this one is hydrogen. So same structure I wrote in this formation. Both are same only now. Okay. Yes. Both are same only now. Now, again, what is the next step? Means it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction. It undergoes to the hydrolysis. What is with the hydrolysis? Hydrolysis is nothing but addition of water molecule only. Na? Now, in between the oxygen and magnesium, just to break the bond. So, wherever the oxygen is there, that side you can add as a H. And opposite side you can add as a OH minus ion. So, because of metals are having positive charge. Positively charged ion is attached with the negatively charged ion. Okay. After adding the H plus ion, how it is going to be converted means R bond CH2. OH. So now you got as a primary alcohol. It is converted into primary alcohol. And what is the byproduct you are getting means here? Mg bond X bond OH. So this is the byproduct. Okay. Now in this one, what is the product you got means primary alcohol. So primary aldehyde is converted into the primary alcohol. Until here, this mechanism you understood. All of you, Aditi, Aditi, do you understood this mechanism? Do you understand this mechanism or not, Ma? Ritu, do you understand? Yes, I got it. Yes, okay. I got it. So then I'm going to give one more example. Okay, so can you solve the question? Right, Ma. Now, I'm going to take a give as here, CH3 bond CHO. The name of the given compound is acetaldehyde. 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 If the acetaldehyde is treated with methyl magnesium chloride, okay, then this is the first step. This is the first step. And what is the second step means it undergoes to the hydrolysis. H3O plus. This is the question. What is the IUPAC name of the product? What is IUPAC name of the product? That is my question. What is IUPAC name of the product?
Ritu got the answer. Aditi? Sir, I got the answer, but I'm like not too sure, too sure about it. You got the answer. Okay. So at least can you tell me the structure now? It's a butyl 2 also, like the IU pack name. Yes, sir, even I got the same one. You didn't do all of Yeah. Aditi, you also got you didn't do all of them. So I took the... I took it as wrong. I took the wrong one. Amma, here I had given CH3. Total number of carbon... Sorry, sir, I took it as methyl. I took as methyl. Sir, I took it as CH3... Uh, C2CH5COH. So let us see. So once again, I'm going to be explained. Once you check it out. Uh, I got it as CH3C, CH3OHH. The final compound. CH3 bond. Bond C, bond CH3, bond H, bond OH. Somewhere it's not missing. C, CH3 bond OH. CH3 bond OH. It is correct only, ma'am. It is a secondary alcohol. It's a secondary alcohol, like exactly Aditi. Secondary alcohol. I'm asking IU pack name. Correct only Aditi. Structure is correct only. This structure only you got a? Yes, sir. Okay. So what is IU pack name of this one? In root for total, how many carbon atoms are there? Three, sir. Pro. Ah. Pro. Pro. Given compound is saturated or unsaturated? Saturated. Saturated. Then we can write as a propane. And which functional group it is there in a given compound? The alcohol. On the what is the position of the alcohol? 2 volt. This is the answer. Ritu, you got the answer? Same answer? Yes, I got, got it. And the previous thing I took is ethyl. That's why I got butane to all and not propanol to all. Okay. So can you try the third one also? And I'll give last one example. Okay. Last one example. If you come in definitely, then I'll go for the next one. We solve these two questions. Ma.
got the answer or not? Ritu? Aditi, you got the answer for the both one? Aditi, you got the answer for them for the first one. This is the answer. Ritu? Yes, I got the same thing. Very good, Aditi. Ritu, what about you? So once can you explain the third one? I'm getting confused in that one. Why are you getting confused? It's the same only. So that one first, what you have to do means you have to cut the benzene structure clearly. It is looking called as a benzaldehyde. Okay, so benzaldehyde. So binge aldehyde, how we can write as here? So benzene ring, aldehyde group. Aldehyde group means C double bond O H it is there. C double bond O H. What is the reagent we had taken? Ethyl magnesium chloride. Ethyl group. C2HY group here. In this one, C2HY group is attached to the carbon and MgCl is going to be attached to the oxygen. Okay. Now, in this one also, bond. O MgCl bond H bond C2 H5. Again, it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction. Hydrolysis means addition of water molecule. This side H plus and this side OH minus. Okay. So after adding the H plus means it is converted into one phenyl. This one OH H it is there. And C2HY also, if you split this one, means we can write as a CH2 bond CH3. Then, what is the IUPAC name of the given compound? Means 1 phenyl, 1 phenyl, okay, propanol, 1 propanol, 1 phenyl, 1 propanol. So, this is the answer. So, what is the answer? Means here, 1 phenyl, 1 propanol is the answer. So now you've got the additive. Clear? Still any doubt is there? Can I give one more example to avoid your confusion? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Ma, what are the uh, what are the alcohol you got? This one is the secondary alcohol or tertiary alcohol? Uh, secondary, sir. Very secondary. good. Very good, Ritu. Uh, so secondary alcohol. So before that one, you had done Aditi. Before that one. Okay, so whatever the alcohol you got, that it is the primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol. This one. Sir, tertiary. Tertiary. So sometimes they are giving, sir. So 2-methylpropane-2-ol is example of primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol. 2-methylpropane-2-ol. So 2-methylpropane-2-ol is the example of primary alcohol, secondary alcohol, tertiary alcohol means it is a tertiary alcohol. Okay. And to avoid your confusion, and the last example I'm giving here. So whatever the product you are getting, you are getting, that should tell me that. Okay. So one more example.
What is the impact name of the given compound? Is any answer? Now I'm going to give the answer for you. This is the structure you got. Is that clear? One, two, three, four. The impact name of the given compound is one phenyl butane one hole. This is the answer. Aditi, you got the same answer or different answer? So I got the same answer. Very good, Aditi. Ritu? Yes, sir, I got the same. Okay, ma'am. Here, one question are there, ma'am. Exam point of view question. What is the exam point of view question? Means here, which of the following aldehydes it gives as a primary alcohol? Can I revise the notes once again? Let us see starting onwards where we started here. Right now. So this is the reactions we had seen from the Grignard reagent. Okay. In that one, the first one is called as a formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde, it gives as a primary alcohol. Acetaldehyde, it gives as a secondary alcohol. Okay. Acetone, it gives as a tertiary alcohol. And benzaldehyde and others also they, uh, they give as a benzaldehyde also gives as a secondary alcohols. Okay. And as a, acetophenone, it gives as a tertiary alcohol. So clearly, I want to give one statement here. So I want to conclude this reaction. So, what is the conclusion of this reaction means other than formaldehyde? Okay. okay. So only formaldehyde it gives as a primary alcohol. Okay, only formaldehyde. Only formaldehyde gives primary alcohol. Only primary formaldehyde gives us a primary alcohol. Okay. Other than formaldehyde, other aldehydes, other aldehydes, other aldehydes other aldehydes are give secondary alcohols secondary alcohols and third one ketone gives tertiary alcohol ketone gives tertiary alcohol okay so this is the conclusion any ketone you can take. Any ketone, if you take, means that it gives as a tertiary alcohol. Okay. Now you got the clarity. Still, anyone you having doubt about this concept? Because of it is the exam point of equation. Neat level or green level, sometimes they're asking question. 
by seeing question is it look like as a very simple question only but so many people they will do as a mistake they place some other aldehyde name but which one it gives as a only primary aldehyde means here formaldehyde only it gives as a primary aldehyde others that does not give as a primary uh, primary alcohol okay other aldehydes are they give as a secondary alcohol now we got the clarity that's why i'm giving these many examples to you to make you sure that that's why i give us this many examples is that clear yeah sir aditi is that clear yes yeah, sir so then so next i'm going for so we have some other methods here so what are the other methods we are having means here so hydrolysis of the ethers okay from ethers also we can prepare as alcohols from ethers from ethers also we can prepare as a alcohol sir how we can prepare means when the ethers are it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction okay ethers are it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction first i'll write as a general formula what is the general formula of the ethers R bond, O bond, R is called as an ether. Is that clear? R bond, O bond, R is called as an ether. Okay. It undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction. Which hydrolysis? Acid hydrolysis. That means the reaction is carried out in presence of acid. Okay. So if it undergoes to the acid hydrolysis reaction, means exactly you can break the bond like with no reagent only. Wherever the oxygen is there, that side you can add as a H plus. Opposite side you would add as a OH minus. So if you combine together and you can write mark. So what you got? R bond OH. And this also it becomes as a ROH only. Na? ROH total, how many you got as means here? Two moles of the ROH you get as here. Okay. So when you will get this one means here, whenever you take as a symmetrical ethers, if you take as a symmetrical ethers means it forms as a two moles of the alcohol. Okay, if you take as an unsymmetrical ethers means we'll get as a two different alcohols. Two different alcohols can be separated by the distillation method. Two different alcohols can be separated by distillation method. So shall we try some examples? For example, dimethyl ether. Dimethyl ether. That means CH3 bond, O bond, CH3. <coughs> this we can call as a Dimethyl ether. If the dimethyl ether is it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction. So what is the product it is going to be formed? Which product it is going to be formed? Dimethyl ether. What is the product you are getting? And one more example I'll write here. CH3 bond. O bond C two H Y. This we can call it as a ethyl methyl ether. Okay, so this also turns goes to the hydrolysis H two O H plus. What is the answer for the first one, Aditi? What is the IUPAC name or common name? Is any guess? Is any guess? Ritu? Sir, is it? Yeah, tell me, ma. So for the second one, dimethyl ether plus H two, is it like methanol? Very good, uh, very good, Ritu. So it is a two moles of the methanol. How many moles of the methanol means it forms as a two moles of the methanol? CH three OH. 
okay so dimethyl ether is it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction means it forms as a two moles of methanol now we got the clarity if they had given symmetrical ethers means you will get as a identical products only here okay so how many moles it is going to form means it forms as a two moles of the methanol then if you check it out the second one ethyl methyl ether if the ethyl methyl ether is it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction what is the product it is going to be formed sir ethanol and methanol very good ritu so one is the ethanol yes one is the methyl alcohol ch3oh another one is converted into the c2h5oh okay if unsymmetrical ethers if the unsymmetrical ethers are it undergoes the hydrolysis reaction means they form as a two different alcohols the two different alcohols can be separated by the distillation method okay so how we are going to separate the mixture of alcohols means here mixture of alcohols can be separated by distillation method okay and the loss reaction in this chapter here so what is another reaction we are having means here from ester salsoma from esters from esters also we can prepare as alcohols sir so how you are going to prepare the esters what is the general formula of the esters means r c o o r okay so to make it clarity i'll write the structure r bond c double bond o bond o r it is there okay esters are it undergoes to the acid hydrolysis only h2o in presence of h plus okay if they undergo so the acid hydrolysis so just you can break the bond between the c double bond o and oxygen so where are the oxygen it is there that side you can add as a h plus and opposite side we are adding as a oh minus okay so opposite side we are adding as here oh minus okay now after adding the oh minus r c o o h so one is converted into the carboxylic acid and another one is r o h another one is converted into the roh roh group is called as a alcohol and rcooh is called as here carboxylic acids okay so both are liquids liquids can be separated by the which method distillation method how we are going to separate the mixture of liquids means here mixture of liquids can be separated by the distillation method okay now we got the clarity shall we try some two to three examples now i'll give one example ma so for example we can take as a simple simplest ester what is the simplest ester means here ch3 bond coo ch3 so actually this we can call as a methyl ethanoate methyl ethanoate ma here if the methyl ethanoate is it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction methyl ethanoate is it undergoes to the hydrolysis reaction so in this one just to break the bond here and one is converted into the carboxylic acid that means ch3 co oh another one is this part is converted into the alcohol ch3 oh so one is called as a acetic acid acetic acid another one is called as a methanol another one is called as a methanol so can i give one example to you i'll give two examples you had to solve the two examples now okay. so tomorrow we'll discuss about the physical properties and chemical properties okay so now i'm going to give us a two examples what are the two examples means one is ch3 covoh sorry ch3 covo c2h5 covo c2 h5 so this we can call as a ethyl ethanoate ethyl ethanoate ethyl ethanoate if the ethyl ethanoate is it undergoes to the acid hydrolysis what is the product it is going to be formed and another one is oh So what are the products it is going to be? First one, Ritu. Can you try the first one? What is the answer you will get?
Aditi, what is the answer for the first one? Answer for the first one, ma'am. Sir, acetic acid plus ethanol. Acetic acid plus ethanol. Very good, ma'am. Very good, Aditi. CH3, COOH plus C2H5OH. Exact correct answer. Next, second one. So benzoic acid plus ethanol? Yeah. Yes. Exactly correct identity. COOH plus ethanol. C2H5OH. So now you understood na, how to convert if they had given the ester means. Okay? Now we got some clarity. So remaining, I'll start the physical properties. Okay, so while coming tomorrow, just go through, just five minutes only. Just five minutes, just go through the notes. Okay? Whatever we discussed, just you go through once. Yeah, sure, sir. Okay, then we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you all. Thank you.